マキがあんたに渡してってやらなければいけないんだ俺がこの世界に生きる人間としてはい、それでは、これは、ドカンビデオ。これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これ Now, I think we're not really in a position to keep the GT duo in slot 1 because Omega, remember, his cooldown is zero, so he could super attack straight away. We will therefore just keep Bulma in slot 1. We'll give this to Trunks. Remember, Trunks in the base form wants to be sitting in slot 2. Again, if we have a quick rundown of his kit 18 key stacks defense and greatly raising attack, 12 key 30% attack and defense for the turn, intro buff. Is what is it? Three key and an additional, which has a great chance of becoming a super. He gets three key 150 to stats at the start of turn. He gets 100% attack when forming a super, and he can build up up to five key and 50% defense with each attack performed. And he reduces damage received by 10% within the same turn with each super performed up to 30%. He has an additional 100% attack and launches the additional, which has a high chance of becoming a super, as the second or third attack in the turn, and then launches an additional. That has a high chance of becoming a super starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. So that is good, actually. That's max key for the GT duo. His starter turn defense is 256. I don't really care too much for how much damage he potentially takes, how much offense he's giving me in this form. It's really just making our way to the,、uh, the STR f i s e Okay, Bulma took a lot there, but remember, Bulma is only on a what, double 150 here. I originally was going to go with、um, the double tech 23rd World Tournament Goku team, but I just thought that. The leaders, the Goku and Vegeta, would be a bit more efficient, a bit better at handling themselves in, in this fight. So I just decided to go with、uh, them instead. Can we give him one more? Okay, there is one more of the additional Super Knight. Can you give me another one through the hidden potential? Does he give me it? He doesn't. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. So, okay, opening start from、uh, Sword of Hope. I'll see you guys on turn four. Okay, so we are now back. We got the rotation that I wanted, which is Vegeta and Trunks next to the Sword of Hope Trunks. They're sharing six links, by the way. Everything except Golden War. So that's six key, 60% attack, 5% defense, and a 5% chance to crit. Now I'm really hoping here that Omega does not super attack straight away and seal Vegeta and Trunks. That would suck because I want to get a stack for them as well. That is still Bulma six. So. Stutter turn defense will be above 400k here, which is very good, but we're floating Bulma now, so we won't get to see Trunks with Bulma support the next time we see Trunks. But I think that's fine.、Uh, I don't think Vegeta and Trunks. Oh, 7 million? <laughs>、uh, I'm hoping Vegeta and Trunks don't finish Omega off here. That would suck. Ah,、uh, yikes. What a mistake. Please don't additional. Please. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that. That is annoying. I mean, that was still the right play because we could have put Trunks in slot one and he would have. Omega would have sealed. That does suck. Okay. I'll see you guys.、Uh, God damn it. I'll see you guys on the next turn. Okay, so I don't want to say that we're cooked, but I think we're cooked, guys. Trunks. Ah, that's not good. 483. With no damage reduction, no guard, no nothing, no dodge. Omega is going to cook him. And we have Oob support up, by the way. Which is the. It's, it's two key and 70% defense, I think. Yeah. It, it, okay, it's actually three key and 70% defense. We have to pop Vegeta and Trunks is active. I need the extra defense for Trunks, so I'm gonna pop this now. Just go ahead and pop it. I mean, the defense will jump up a little bit, I suppose, but I. I don't know, guys. I think we're cooked if I don't pop an item. Let's see. What's Trunks' defense now? It must be like 520. Okay, oh, that's, it's a bit higher. Five, 580. Yeah, it sucks, man. If, if, I, had the, if I had the stack. The second stack, he would have been at 630, is my guess. 620. Uh, let's do this for a sec. Sure. I, look, here's the thing a Ghost Usher is probably best, but surely Trunks doesn't get killed. Alright, I'm just praying that、uh, the super attack is in slot 3 here, otherwise, we are cooked. 
I mean, at the very least, please don't let the super attack be instantly, right? Um, basically, I just, I just don't want the AoE to, to have Omega's super attack buff. That would be great, please, Omega. <sighs> For a second, the pause in the animation for it was Omega super attacking. Okay. Vegeta and Trunks should now be fine. They're, they're comfortable. Alright, so far so good. They use double digits, that's fine. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, now what would suck actually is if um, Omega decides to super attack Trunks. Would Trunks live? If Trunks actually gives me the triple super, he will live, but not with a, like a double or something. Okay. This is good because he has an additional, right? With the... I mean, Trunks are doing a shit ton of damage. Jesus. Okay. Wow, look how much damage he just did. That would have been great if that fourth was the, the super attack as well. I think Trunks lives this. 300k, that's good. I mean, remember that is with the the oop support. If oop support is not there, he's probably taking like 150k more is my guess. Probably taking closer to 500k, but he's, he would still live that turn. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm under... It's not even that I'm underrating Trunks. My fear with Trunks was that he was just going to give me the super. His additional was just going to be an additional normal. His other additional was going to be a normal, and then he was probably just going to not do anything else. So that's why Trunks is a bit scary, because at that point he's rocking 10% damage reduction, and he's very susceptible to getting cooked. Uh, but I suppose what also benefited me there was that Trunks, remember, he's still building up. He hadn't finished building up yet. So, I mean, that was a pretty good performance there from Trunks. That was pretty good tanking. I'll see you guys on the next turn. Okay, so that was Trunks' standby, and that was pretty annoying. I, I forgot to switch on my audio recording, so I was just talking to myself. So I'm having to re record this final part of the video. Now, this is a bit of a shame. We have Bulma support. Uh, but the problem, of course, with, I think, now rocking Vegeta and Trunks alongside this Trunks is that both of them want to be in slot 1, right? I mean, you can get away with Trunks being in slot 2 on his opening appearance because he's able to guard in slot 1, but more importantly, on his first appearance in the Spirit Bomb Sword form, he's getting 50% damage reduction, so he's fine. Whereas Vegeta and Trunks, they need to be in slot 1 for their guard, but I think they're fine. Again, this is a showcase purpose. I'm not really... This is a showcase setting, right? So, for the purpose of the video... I think it's fine to throw um, Vegeta and Trunks in slot 2. Yeah, there I was lamenting the fact that I can't really stand by into Super Saiyan Vegeta and give Trunks the 8 key and 80% attack support, which probably would have meant... Would Trunks have finished Omega off here? It's possible. He did give me, I believe, a, a double super and two normals, so that is that. Remember Trunks? He, for free, is giving you an additional with a great chance of being a super, and then slot 1 he's getting an additional with a great chance of being a super. So he can uh, essentially, what, quad super? Um, the fourth super being the hidden potential system here. He eats the super attack pretty well, but that's to be expected. He's a physical unit. He's been stacking defense. And he's got guarding as well as damage reduction. So that was pretty good tanking from Trunks. Overall, let me know what you think of Trunks. I think he's a pretty strong unit once you stand by into this form. But the, again, the base form can be weak. I understood that we, we tanked the STR Omega Super for a pretty good amount of damage. Like, that was pretty good tanking from Trunks, but... Remember, that was with the Oob support. Uh, I believe, actually, the Bulma support wasn't live there, so that was pretty good, but Vegeta and Trunks' active skill buff was there as well, so... Yeah, uh, again, good unit. Just wish the base form was slightly stronger, but... Yeah, I mean, these attack stats are very good, right? 15 mil followed by 9 mil. Actually, wait, I'm pretty sure he gives me an additional super here, doesn't he? He does, yeah, so 15 followed by a normal, followed by 9, followed by a 10, which is not bad. Wait, I just realized, he, he, did he just, wait, did he just not give me 5 attacks there? He did, didn't he? When performing a super, launch an additional, which has a great chance of being, becoming a super. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, never mind, he actually, yeah, he can, he can, not just quad super, he can super attack 5 times, because he can launch an additional super with 5 or more key spheres, and remember, he's a rainbow orb changer, yeah. This Trunks is bonkers, but they, they... 
of course, balance the unit by making the base form uh, just okay. So thank you for watching. Let me guys think. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.